How do you respond to new ideas and innovations? I support the implementation of new ideas and innovations in teaching high school mathematics. Although the conventional approach in teaching high school mathematics has been impressive, it has encouraged laxity on the part of the learner hence losing its utility value in modern society. The new approach of implementing new ideas and innovations is learner-centered, and thus, learners get more benefit from classwork. The new approach also embraces a wide range of modern technology in teaching high school mathematics. The inclusion of integrated ICT in teaching mathematics, for example, has proved to be an indispensable tool in complementing conventional teaching and learning resources. How would you describe your communication skills? My communication skills in teaching high school mathematics are varied depending on the different stages of the lesson. In the preparatory part, for example, it is both nonverbal and intrapersonal. In the introductory part of the lesson, it is interpersonal whereby I ask questions to enhance learner memory, and in response, I receive the answers. At the lesson development stage, it is basically verbal as I expose the content with pure simplicity. It does take the nonverbal form, also where body movements are used to convey a message. In a nutshell, I have strong communication skills essential for pedagogy. Do you see yourself continuing to learn after you graduate from college? Yes, I do see that I will proceed with my studies after graduating from college. This is because education is a lifelong process, and with such hopes as being an international resource person, one must keep on evaluating his or her pedagogical approaches to teaching. This helps the tutor to be abreast with the teaching developments. Mathematics is important in the education of secondary students in that it enhances their cognitive development. They are able to think logically, make wise decisions, think creatively, and use their time effectively. It also equips learners with requisite skills for college education. It also develops the learner's problem-solving skills. A Statement on Teaching Goals The goals for teaching mathematics or science are in fact some of the most indispensable tools in the instruction of mathematics or science at any level of education. This statement highlights and discusses about the goals of teaching high school mathematics or science. The teaching of high school mathematics or science is aimed at equipping the learner with the basic principles and facts in mathematics or science, enhancing learners' individual growth, improving the learner's approach to studies, preparing the young ones with the necessary knowledge for work and as a long-term goal it encourages learners to exercise a higher order of thinking. One of the elementary goals of teaching high school mathematics is to equip the learners with the basic principles, facts, theories, skills, concepts, and approaches in mathematics. This helps the learner develop an enlightened know-how of the role of mathematics in the society. It also enables the learner to appreciate the beauty of mathematics in communicating complex occurrences in a simple manner. The new concepts thus acquired are the fundamental prerequisites for the realization of the other goals of education. Learners' personal development is kept in focus in the teaching of high school mathematics. This is evident in the manner in which the learner's self-confidence is boosted in interpersonal relationships and respect for other individuals. With enhanced self-esteem comes a firm self-confidence necessary for a liberated expression of one's ideas and opinions. Excellence in mathematics fulfills the learner's inherent desire for achievement which psychologically boosts the emotional health of the learner. The teaching of high school mathematics or science improves the learner's approach to studies in that it trains the learners on the best message encoding, storage and retrieval practices. Learners' ability to concentrate, listen attentively and participate in the teaching learning process is highly enhanced. Reading and memory skills of the learner are also improved, sharpening the learner's discernment in distinguishing between fact and opinion. The attitude of the learners towards studies is thus positively impacted, this intrinsically motivates the learners bringing to the fore the creative and innovative involvement of the learners in the learning process. High school learners acquire the necessary knowledge which prepares them for work, 
contributing to national welfare. Managerial skills are attained in student leadership positions, students learn the art of a result-oriented performance which upholds their productivity in the job market. Students' creative, innovative autonomy acquired in class enables them to perform artistically and skillfully in the job market. The summit of the goals of teaching high school mathematics is to encourage the learners to exercise a higher level of thinking. This is geared towards developing the learner's capacity to relate the principles acquired in school to new situations and varied problems. It is meant to tap the investigative and problem-solving skills of the learner. The logical analytic steps involved in mathematics, for example, are employed in determining the nature of the problem, drawing of the hypothesis, carrying of field research, data collection, organization, and representation. The analysis of the data exposes the latent information about a given problem, upon which appropriate inferences are drawn. The learner's ability to synthesize and integrate information is thus developed. Knowledge is authenticated upon the realization of the goals of education. Learners are in a position of appreciating the validity of studying mathematics at high school. The holistic outlook of mathematics is thus celebrated by the learners. This and many other essays are available at studycorgi.com.